I call my style exact abstract because I try to get the, the faces and everything as exact as I can and then the rest is abstract. It's abstract, but it's art. Fusing sports and pop culture into this piece, Murray Henderson displays unique art for you to buy downtown. I airbrush the faces, yes. So start from that and then I uh, have fun and splash the rest of it. So I call that organized chaos. If paying homage to MJ doesn't get you, maybe the iconic Jordan 1 will. It's just one of the many pieces that's for sale at this weekend's Millennium Art Festival happening at the corner of Lake and Michigan downtown. Everything from paintings to sculptures, wearable art, so jewelry, you can wear like full on dress. The art festival has it all, including photography from the deep sea, even memorable moments at the Chicago Air and Water Show. Ella Walker with Amder Productions says the art festival is celebrating its 15th year anniversary, bringing art to the sidewalk that you can take home. Art enriches our lives. At Amder Productions, we really believe that art is essential to life. I think that people need that in their lives. And the artist doesn't mind displaying their hard work. This piece, for example, what I do is I'll work with anywhere from a about a thousand strands on average Wow. Uh, in a larger piece. I shape all the strands of wire, either copper or aluminum. Take GM Webb, for example. The Baltimore-based sculptor could spend a week on one of these intricate faces. He doesn't mind driving 12 hours to sell his pieces here in Chicago. Opportunities like this is excellent for that, so that you can grow your own business. And I think having your own business, not a side hustle, because I put a lot of time into it. Whether you're looking for glass sculptures or something that shows your pride, the Millennium Art Festival is one for the books and your wallet. The eyes were on all of the works of art, getting a chance to take home one of a kind. If you want a piece, you got to get here and come get it, because if it's gone, it's gone. So don't let the weather stop you from enjoying the Millennium Art Festival. It's going on still tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You definitely don't want to miss this. I'm Glenn Marshall for WGN News.